Hey Agents! Whenever I hear someone complaining about status effects in The Division 2, the first counter that always comes up is to use Hazard Protection. And while Hasbro does objectively counter status effects, that's literally all it does. Explosive damage, skill damage, bullet damage, all ignore Hazard Protection. So stacking it on your build can be effective against an all status effects team, but you're really gimping yourself against every other kind of damage. So in this video, I'm going to show you 5 ways to counter status effects without resorting to Hasbro. But before we get into that, just a reminder to hit that subscribe button if you've been enjoying my Division 2 content. The Center for the Blind is the place to be, and entry's free. Also, if you find this video helpful, make sure to like it. Okay, so let's get into it. Kicking things off with the Sharpshooter Medkit. It's very straightforward. Apply a medkit and it'll cleanse you of all status effects. Plus, for 20 seconds after, you get resistance to most status effects. Just make sure that you've got enough armor to survive for 3 seconds while you apply the medkit. Relying on this while equipping glass cannon or 6 reds is not going to work. You'll be dead before you get the kit on. If someone on your team is running tardigrade, you'll be fine with 6 reds. Otherwise, you'll need at least 2 blues to survive until your medkit is on. Next up is the booster hive. Personally, I put this on all my builds because of how effective it is not only for myself, but for my teammates as well. Just like the Sharpshooter Medkit, the Booster Hive fully cleanses you of all status effects. Unlike the Sharpshooter Medkit, it's unlimited, on a very short cooldown, and it doesn't require you to stand still for 3 seconds to get the effect. Also, for 5 seconds after the drones hit you, you gain 20% Hasbro, Handling, and Melee damage. Just keep in mind that status effects and debuffs are not the same. So neither the medkit nor the booster hive will cleanse you from the vile or pestilence ticks. Next on the docket is armor regen. You can run the usual 3% armor regen, or even add an additional 60,000 or so armor regen if you roll attributes to it on your gear. This can be very effective against bleed or debuffs, but as you can see here, a glass cannon fire sticky is going to far out damage the regen. But, it'll buy you some time to drop your booster or put on a medic. This one here I think is an underappreciated perk from the Sharpshooter Specialization Tree. When going into cover, you gain about 3% bonus oh no. armor. You can keep going in and out of cover to absorb the damage oh my ticks. God, the armor I when I'm on fire, I spam the hell out of this armor because the ticks are so strong. And there's no cooldown, so it refreshes every time you go into cover. So if you're running Sharpshooter, don't forget to take advantage of this awesome perk. It single-handedly saved my life on multiple occasions. Finally, another great defense for status is either Unbreakable or System Corruption. Both give you a large chunk of armor when you need it most. There's a reason Unbreakable is the most used chess piece in PvP. Even running with zero blues, you'll have enough time to put on a medkit before the status effects can finish you off. The downside to Unbreakable is the long cooldown, so after it gets broken, you'll need to play extra cautiously until it comes back up, because the next fire sticky will kill you if you're on a squishy build. Although the system corruption ability has a shorter cooldown, the downside to it is you need to give up a lot of damage to run a four piece of system corruption. Aside from the bonus armor, the 4-piece gives you absolutely nothing in terms of battle stats. So those are my tips for fighting back against status effects in The Division 2. I hope you found these to be helpful. Happy farming, and I'll see you in the next video.